Hello, I am Ji Sun Lee from Chungbung National University Hospital in Korea. It is a great pleasure and honor to have the opportunity to present my paper in KJR. Today, I am going to talk about serial observation of muscle and fat masses as prognostic factors of deceased donor liver transplantation. Sarcopenia is defined as severe depletion of skeletal muscle mass and muscle function. It is the most common complication in cirrhosis and associated with adverse clinical outcomes. There are many previous reports that patients with low muscle mass tend to have elevated postoperative complications and longer hospital stays. However, it is still debated whether muscle depletion is a consistent predictor of mortality after liver transplantation. The model for end stage liver disease, MEL score, is the most common way to prioritize liver transplantation among patients with chronic liver disease. Despite its strong predictive value, it is unable to reflect a patient's nutritional status, which is a serious limitation of this score. Although many efforts have been made to complement the original MEL score system, the integration of nutritional status into existing prognostic models is still limited and ineffective. Abdominal CT is standard reference for assessing skeletal muscle mass because it is completely objective and not strongly influenced by the degree of fluid retention. Almost all candidates for liver transplantation undergo CT as part of the preoperative evaluation and postoperative care. There was a report that specific transverse abdominal cross section in pre LT CT scan could predict many important postoperative outcomes. Follow-up evaluation of CT scans can provide information of serial changes in nutritional or muscle wasting status and it can differentiate progressive sarcopenia from stationary muscle waste depletion. Thus, we hypothesize that serial changes in the muscle mass of patients on a waiting list for transplantation would be more effective than a single measurement of muscle mass just prior to surgery in predicting the survival rate of patients after transplantation. Therefore, the purpose of this study was to evaluate whether the change in muscle and fat masses during the preoperative period would associate with prognosis after deceased donor liver transplantation. We retrospectively evaluated 302 patients who underwent DDLT for adults from May 1999 to November 2013. Those who met the following inclusion criteria were selected. Especially for the patients who underwent serial preoperative and postoperative abdominal CT studies, including one year before, just before, and after transplantation. Except the patients excluded because of these reasons, a total of 72 patients were included in this study. To perform the body composition analysis, we used ImageJ program. The top of the third lumbar vertebra, which clearly showed the spinous process, was chosen as the standard landmark to measure cross-sectional muscle and fat areas. Semi-automated specific tissue demarcation by using the following household unit thresholds was performed. Three compartments of interest were skeletal muscle and visceral and subcutaneous fat. This is how we did it. 
segmentation of fat was automatically performed and peritoneal line was manually outlined. Then segmentation of muscle area was automatically performed. Skeletal muscle index SMI and total body fat mass index FMI were estimated using the following regression equations. Serial change in body composition parameters were also calculated by using the two serial follow-up CT images. Statistical analysis was performed by following methods. This table shows the serial changes in the body composition parameters before and after DDLT. On within subject analysis, there was a significant decrease in SMI. In subgroup analysis, the SMI declined more in the deceased patients compared to the surviving patient during the both the, the preoperative and postoperative periods. There was also a decrease in the FMI during the preoperative period, but the result was not statistically significant. However, there was a significant increase in the FMI during the postoperative period. Univariate and multivariate analysis revealed that the preoperative delta SMI and MEL score were independent prognostic factors for overall survival after the DLT. The survival rate for patients with a large decrease in the preoperative delta SMI was lower than those for a patient with a small decrease or increase in the preoperative delta SMI. The limitation of our study was a retrospective and a single center study. Only report on skeletal muscle mass without assessment of muscle function and presented cutoff value of serial change in muscle mass had no relevance to other medical centers and populations, so the further study is needed. In conclusion, muscle mass was significantly and continuously decreased on preoperative and postoperative CT scans in patients who underwent DDLT, a large reduction in the preoperative delta SMI was significantly associated with poor overall survival after DDLT. Therefore, change in muscle mass during the preoperative period can be considered as a prognostic factor for outcome of DDLT. Thank you.